What's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test 10 more kitchen gadgets. Let's see what I got today. For the first two gadgets I got here ratchet grater and a ratchet salt and pepper shaker. Let's see what they're all about. Gemma said she wants to help me do a video today. Gemma, check this out. So what we're going to do is grab that pepper or whatever you call it and put it inside here. You know, you're not getting one. It might be not good for you. So we put it all inside here. Then check this out, Gamma. What you're supposed to do is just scratch it like this. And look, it works well. You see how it's grinding very well. I'm ratcheting in it and it's still inside here. Wow, look at that. Instead of twisting your wrist, it's kind of annoying and not comfortable. We can just do it like that. Next, what we're going to check out is a cheese grater. What I'm gonna do, is take a piece of cheese. We're gonna open it like this. How do we open that? I have no idea. How do we open it, Gamma? Do you know? I cannot figure it out. Oh, you're gonna help me? Okay. Let's see. What are you doing? I thought you're helping. You just want to sit on me. So you twist this part and this twists. But how do we take this out to put more cheese? I don't have no idea. Gamma, can you help? Boom, it comes off like this. Then you get a slice of cheese. We don't need to put the, the whole thing, I guess. Just a small piece and put it inside there. And then we're going to put this Oh cool, we can even do a bigger piece. And then instead of twisting it like that, we're actually going to use the ratchet stop right here. And look how well it's grating the cheese. Wow, this is awesome. That's so beautiful. Look at that. Perfectly grated cheese. I love that part. And boom, that slice of cheese completely got graded super fast. Wow! Definitely love this gadget a lot. And to clean it, these two pieces comes off. And I guess you can wash this thing off and clean it up. Very beautiful design. I love that. And I love that it's a ratchet. Hey, don't grab the knife. Next, I got pretty cool can opener. Let's see what it does differently. First of all, you can open this ones like this. Boom! Look at that. Beautiful, don't you like that Gamma? Or you can use a bird and see if it can open a can for you. Alright Gamma, do it. You got this. You got this. Alright, you can open this can and I'll open this can. So what you do I guess is... Oh, that's it. I think I figured it out. Now it's pulling on it. There you go. She eating my pocket. Gamma, stop it. Gamma, stop it. Stop it! I said stop it! She's trying to eat my button right here. Here, a can for you. Open a can instead. Here. Help me open this can instead. There you go. That's how you do it. Get it. There you go. I think my can also twisted all the way around. Hey, stop it! This is my can. Here, can is your can is this one. So now I can, I think, twist it the other way. And right here, two teeth. Boom. Lift it and there is no sharp edges. Wow, this is awesome. You see, we just pried opened it without any sharp edges. And for the next gadget, I got here hot air popcorn machine. I'm honestly super excited about this one. Hopefully it works well. This time Hugo gonna help me review stuff. Let's open this thing up. Beautiful. Looks like very simple assembly, like this, and a lid right here, boom. This is how much we only put, there is a fill line. Okay, very simple instructions. I guess this right here is like a measuring cup at the same time. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Perfect. Now I can put this back in and close this part. Hugo, I don't think there is on and off button, so let's just plug it in right here. Check, 
this out. Oh, it's gonna start popping. It feels pretty hot. It definitely feels hot air coming out from here. But when is it gonna start popping? They change in color, that's for sure. Hi, ah, look. You wanna see how it works? Check this out. So there is a piece flow out, but it didn't pop. I guess I just have to wait. Oh, there you go. There's one pop. Hugo, there's one pop finally. Look, what are you doing? The popcorn is finally popping. There you go. Yeah! Popcorn popping. Whoa, look at that. This is crazy. It's popping so crazy. Hugo, what do you think? Entertaining, huh? Whoa! This is awesome. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Look, I'm freaking out, Hugo, I'm freaking out, look at that popcorn, oh my gosh, that's so awesome, oh, it's overfilled, Hugo, you better not eat any, oh, stop it, don't eat it, popcorn is not good for you, don't eat popcorn, no, no, Hugo, don't eat it, wow, this is coolest thing ever, good boy, wow, I can't believe he didn't just eat that popcorn over there, but this is insane, whoa, it's still shooting, all that popcorn, is ready to go. You're not get any. I'll give you treats, chicken treats instead. How about that? You still want it? You can look at it, but you cannot eat it, okay? Good boy, good boy. One thing to consider, this part might be pretty hot. Not too hot, but you might burn your fingers. But look at this popcorn. Now we're going to do a taste test. What's amazing about this popcorn, it does not use oil. It just uses hot air. You can add toppings to it, to taste different flavor but it's a lot healthier for you because you don't use a lot of oil wow and it tastes so delicious mm. I usually do my popcorn in those bags eh, sometimes they burn but this is like none of it have burned this is insane so fluffy and so tasteful definitely thumbs up for me one of the best popcorn I ever had that's for sure and for the next gadget, I got here potato ricer. I have put to the test potato ricers before and all of them look very vintage and old style. Well, this one looks a lot newer and looks very cool. Hopefully it works as well as it looks. What are you doing, Gamma? You gonna sit on it? That's fine. So we're gonna pull this out. Whoa, that looks really cool, don't you think, Gamma? Pull this out. It looks a lot bigger in real life than on a picture. And right here we got another attachment, if you want to rice your potatoes smaller, we're just going to do it with whatever they already have there. So we're going to put a potato in there, and then squeeze it out. Wow, that looks so good. Stick another potato in there, and squeeze it out. Doesn't it look fun, Gemma? And it can fit really big potatoes, look at that. Two hand job for sure. Wow. Amazing. And of course you can cut it in half. Look, it's all empty inside of it. And the last one. Boom. Easy. Hey. I don't know if you can have potatoes yet. I don't know. I haven't researched it. Let me know in comments below. Does the umbrella cockatoo, can they eat potatoes, mashed potatoes? Let me know in comments below. But till then, I'm not gonna give it to you any. For this next gadget, Gemma shouldn't help me because this is a knife. And it's also come with this blade protector. Feels pretty sharp, but this is supposed to be herb and vegetable slicer. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, first of all, I got here a couple scallions. I guess it's cool. So you're supposed to pretty much twist it, or I guess you can chop it too. It's pretty comfortable handle, that's, I give it for sure. It feels pretty good. Also, you can hold it like this. If you want, maybe even go circles. But at the same time, I could do the same thing with the knife and it does not feel much too different if especially I get a bigger knife. But just wanted to show you, they always try to innovate some knives. It does feel good and comfortable and more weight to chop stuff. 
Also got here vegetables. I guess this is pretty comfortable and I can chop up really tiny pieces. Not bad at all. And I guess you can go like this. Or you can go two hands. I like one hand like that. You know what? I like it. This is a pretty good, good and interesting knife. And look how well and tiny pieces I chopped up. I'm not usually that good, so that's pretty awesome. You know what? Thumbs up for me for this knife. Every time I try to get a perfect piece of clear up, it always does not rip off in a perfect square. Well, I got a couple of gadgets for that. One like that, and one even bigger. Whoa, that looks so cool. So I guess you put your clear up on these things, and then put them in, in here. So then you get yourself a clear up. And you stick it in here, I guess. Oh, it's too small. I guess it has to be different type of clear up, like a bigger one. The only thing this thing actually fitted into this little things. You see, Gamma, it only works with this thing and this thing. Right here, there is a little dip, and right here is a little bit button right here. It goes in here this way, and then pops in into this way. Boom. And then when we need to pull a piece of paper out, Pretty good actually. Close it all the way. Oh wow, look at that. They actually tore a piece all the way. This is nice. Wow, look at that. Perfect pieces. You kind of have to slap it on it. I love that. And also, right here, you can lock it. And it's locked, stays locked. And if you push it down and it unlocks, you can take a piece out, lock it, it opens. When you're done with it and you want to store it, lock it in and put it away. Beautiful, love this part. What do you think, Gemma? You like it too? All right, let's check out the next gadget. Step, I'll put you on the tape for a minute. You don't want to step? <laughs> step. Good bird. I also like this because it fits my door. Boom. Beautiful. And let's open this one up. See if this one actually is better. I guess right here there's two buttons. You press on them. And yep, and it flips out like that. And there is a couple hangers. It also you can purchase this kind of clear up. It's a lot more durable than the other one, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna take it out and Looks like it's supposed to fit through here. Yep, that's it. And then we close it. That way it pulls out easier. Then you lock it. There you go. And it looks like you're supposed to hang it somewhere. It's not supposed to just sit like that. But let's try it anyway. Close it. Wow, look how well it's cut in a piece. Take out. This is amazing. So if it's hanging, you need a piece. You grab a piece, once you're done, you cut it off. Beautiful. So let's say we need to cover up this cheese, put it over, cut a piece. Awesome, look how easy that was. And for the next gadget, I got here shrimp peeler. This is what it looks like. I got here a big shrimp. Uh, I wonder if there's instructions in the back. Yep, there is, just go from the top and then it's going to pop out. So just stick it inside of it like this. Keep going too. And then we're just gonna pop it. And wow, that does peel off pretty good. Look at that. And of course, then you can just take off this part. Beautiful. That gadget definitely work as well. So once again, you stick the shame too like this and then pop it open. Boom. Awesome. And then you can take off this part. Oh. Luke and Hugo really love this fish. Sit. <laughs> Look at 
<laughs> Luke is like, word, he'll eat anything. Luke doesn't like it. What, Luke, you don't like it? One time he stole a whole box of squid. I cannot believe he doesn't like shrimp. Ew, looks like Hugo didn't like that too. He just churned on it and spits it out. <laughs> Luke, you sure you don't want any? Sure don't want any? Nope. No. <laughs> he just chew on it and spits it out. Looks like maybe I should cook them first for them. <laughs> oh man, what a waste you guys. Honestly, very surprised Luke and Hugo don't want to eat shrimp. And for the next gadget I got here another popcorn microwave popcorn. Boom, it looks like a little plate like that. Right here, three step instructions. First of all, we're going to add popcorn. You see right here, it says fill edge. Then we're going to close it. I guess something like that. This is what it's going to look like. Microwave for two to three minutes for best results. Okay, let's stick it in into the microwave and put three minutes. Okay, it's only been one minute and ten seconds and it's popping loud inside there. Ooh, this whole thing opened. I don't know if it's supposed to open, but it did. Oh well. One minute and 40 seconds into it, it kind of fell over. But wow, look, it made a lot of popcorn. But whoa, actually only a minute and a half and it popped all the popcorn. I don't see any unpopped popcorn. That's awesome. Maybe only a couple right here. One, two, three, four, five. This is good. Also, this part will be a little hot, so be careful. You know what? I like this. If I took it out 10 seconds before it fell over, all the popcorn would have been here. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. And also, click to the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.